Hey guys, welcome back to Firewatch. I'm Lucid Brito, and uh, the plot is super thick right now. It's so thick. It's like I don't know. It's it's thick. It's uh, I don't. It's it's a it's a th consist. Think of something very consistently thick, <laughs> like not quite hardened cement. But um, so. Uh, me and Julia, or not Julia, <laughs> me and Delilah talked about burning down the camp, and we didn't, but then someone did, and now there's a recording of us saying that we were going to do it, and it's been done, and now someone's reported that Delilah knows something about it, and I have a key to a cave, and I meant to open the door, so we are going to go find that cave, and find out what's in there, I can't run. All right. And that cave is north of here, which I believe is this way. So, yeah, we can just take this way. We'll go this way. This is the right way. Time to head not south. Northeast. Put that down. Run! Can't go that way. Well, oh, now I'm confused. Look at the map. Oh, I'm going the right way. I need to go more north. <laughs> That's, here we go. Let's put us on the right path. That's a long ways down, man. That's gonna be a solid 20 feet. What just happened? Oh. Uh, I think I can go this way. I don't know why I did that. I don't even know how to call anyone other than you. And please, rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago. Aww. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Oh, boy. That's kind of crazy, man. Not kind of crazy, it's super crazy. Alright. Going in, man. I'm a little freaked out. There you go, Ralph. Smash it in. What the hell? Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! Shit. Can't get any damn reception. Great. Well, I hope nothing happens to Delilah while I'm in here. in here. You don't have to talk that loud. You gotta be very quiet. 
As Teddy once said to me, somebody might be listening. Oh, I'm stuck. Ah, oh, crap. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm going to hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. <laughs> I guess, uh... This is definitely a new spot. Oh, what is this? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah. He built himself a real castle. A bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. And he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh... They almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... <sighs> I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Hmm. Oh. I'll keep that. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it... Because I know lots of stuff. <laughs> oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, boss. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily Coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Keep it. Else. 
Can I not climb down that? I guess not. Okay, so how do I get out of here? Check the old map. Hmm. So there's gotta be a way I can go this way. I wonder... Oh, I can't go back through the cave. I can't go this way. I'm confused. I just slide down this, that'd be super. There's nowhere to tie off my rope. I have to quit going down there. <laughs> well, this is a pickle. Something Ryan left. <laughs> Doesn't look like it though. Okay, I go this way. The worst thing is this, it's not it's not hard to figure out. I just don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half-elf armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him, you know, tinkering on stuff like that. Huh, Brian stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was gonna hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah, I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <laughs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. <laughs> Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a 
you know, with it, Dad. He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. <laughs> Awesome. Now, what uh, do you think is in there? Probably something that will kill me. So, you know, just sort of getting myself right with God or whatever there is. Henry, I mean, they closed the door when they could have just your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a are you serious with this shit right now <laughs> a, a hatchet god are you sure you want to go back in there honestly i just i just want to know i want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us yeah me too and not going to jail would be a nice kicker that's the truth let me check them out Oh, we got a long way to go. Oh, get up. Let's run. Keep my fancy new, uh... Oh, uh, also... What? Those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh... Landed in jail. Yeah, I wonder if they know anything. If there's some way to ask them about whatever happened at their camp. I think we'd be smart to let sleeping dogs lie. Probably. You're probably right. I made it. Okay. Now. I was going to say it's super dark in here now. Maybe you blocked the door this time? Gonna shut me in again? I don't know. Okay, I need a crack. There we go. You know, I've never figured that out. I mean, you're putting a lot of trust in those uh, pinions. I think that's what they're called. And, uh,. I mean, a lot of trust. It must be really well designed. Of course, I'm not a rock climber. Or any kind of climber. I wouldn't know. I always think it's cool, but uh, A, I'm terrified of heights. And B, terrified of hitting the ground at high velocity. So, you know, I don't do rock climbing. Cape, cape splunking would be fun. Maybe. Except you get trapped in there and die. Which happens sometimes. I'm not real big about adrenaline. Not even a little bit. I get it from scary things. I have a low adrenaline tolerance. Walking through uh, town at night. What's really creepy gives me an adrenaline rush. Hello, that's not good. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, God. You're Brian Goodwin. God. Poor kid. Oh, that's fucked up, man. You fell. Your stuff gave out. Oh, you poor fucking kid. Jesus. See what I mean? Right there. Oh man. Creepy. Run. Don't run. Guess we're not running. It's a shame, though, you know. But like I said, man, it's 
Rock climbing is dangerous. Rock climbing in a cave. Cave <laughs> splunkering. I don't know what the proper verb is. Dangerous, man. And if you're doing it by yourself or with someone who probably wants you dead, it's no good. get locked in that time. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. You need to call search and rescue. Um, what? There's a body in the cave. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <sighs> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe it was Ned. If not him directly, he put enough stupid fucking know-how in his head to get him killed. Son of a bitch. Yeah. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. I didn't get a picture. I should have got a picture. was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the June fire or the site fire or...? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About how all this stuff is connected. The surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's gotta be a reason. Does there? Maybe. Maybe not. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Well, fuck. Uh, for starters, I guess you could find the source of that signal. Holy crap. Yeah, uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us, who, whoever made the tape. Okay, yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um, okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. No, I meant if something happens to me. <laughs> right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Forget it. Be safe, Henry. Okay, I think. I can't get around this tree. Okay.
What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right. Well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. <sighs> Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and... Delilah, she's a, she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. About a week ago I stopped worrying about you finding anything out and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids, all right? Nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down a lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just, he just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. He... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. So, what was the point of coming up here? I gotta go across. I scared the shit out of me. I gotta go across, and then go that way. some of Brian's things, his wizards and wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. He... God. What? Nothing, just some of Brian's stuff. <laughs> Brian was a nice-looking kid. Keep putting stuff down. 
Read them. Hmm. I'll keep it. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. Give it. How did he know about, uh... How did he know about Julia, though? Hmm. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. This boombox looks familiar. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing. Fast. It's gonna burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. That's a good idea. You're not? I don't know. had quite the view. She's not very talkative right now. I guess that's that. Uh... Why not get... Okay. Can't go that way. Alright. I guess we'll go back down and make our way out of here before I die in a smoky hell. But I, I tell you what, I guess that's a, that's a good place to stop there. Um, so, if you want to find out what happens next, just like and subscribe, and uh, you'll find out what happens in the next episode of Firewatch. I'm Lucid Rito, and I'll see you next time.